The Schumacher name was emblazoned on a Ferrari car for the first time in over 12 years as Mick Schumacher, son of seven-time world champion Michael, made his Formula One test debut on Tuesday. Schumacher Jr. is taking part in the post-Bahrain Grand Prix test session at Sacher Circuit, his first official outing in F1 machinery. The German youngster, who is signed up to the famed Ferrari Driver Academy, donned the famous colors of red for the first time before he will switch testing duties to Alfa Romeo on Wednesday. The opportunity, which is the first official F1 test of the season, represents a chance for the starlet to make another step in his pursuit of following in his legendary dad's footsteps. Schumacher SR, arguably the most successful driver in F1 history, is best remembered for winning five successive titles with Ferrari, adding to the two he previously won with Benetton. The much-loved racer, who called time on his Ferrari career in 2006, also won a record 91 Grands Prix before retiring from the sport seven years ago. But he has not been seen in public since suffering a traumatic brain injury during a skiing trip in December 2013, an accident that left him in a coma. Much of the attention has been on Schumacher Jr. all weekend, with the youngster making his F2 debut in Bahrain. And current Ferrari star Sebastian Vettel, speaking last week, understood why there was so much attention surrounding this test debut. Obviously with the name and the son of Michael there's certainly some expectation, but to end up in Formula One you need to prove that you have the speed, said Vettel, who has known the youngster since Schumacher Jr. was a child. So far he has done really well. The way he has developed in the last years, he deserves where he is now. Now we should give him the time and peace to do his job. It's not easy as it is for him but, on the other hand, he's used to it, so we will see. But for sure it's a big excitement when he will be in the car.